Welcome back to Banama Today. Still with me, Tamina Kauji. And today, my guest here is Stephanie He. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Tamina. How are you? Good today. Yeah. Now, we're actually going to be focusing on the topic of hot yoga. And Stephanie is a hot yoga instructor and studio owner. But first, let's check out a short video that gives us a quick summary. Okay, let's roll. You're feeling tired, stiff, bloated, or stressed. Hot yoga can make you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Yoga is great for creating balance in life while stretching, strengthening, and relaxing the body. And yoga in a heated environment stimulates nerves and muscles to cleanse the system. Life Hot Yoga uses far infrared FIR heating system that induces heat internally without drying the skin and without the harm of UV rays. Among many benefits, FIR Hot Yoga increases blood circulation, detoxifies the body, helps people lose weight, boosts the immune system, reduces stress, increases flexibility, promotes healing, etc. The negative ions emit via FIR heating system purify air and uplift your mood. It's time to harmonize your body and soul, increase energy levels, and start living a healthier life. With classes for every skill level, there's something for everyone at Life Hot Yoga. You can count Life Hot Yoga to make you glow from inside out and feel renewed. All right, so Stephanie, that was a very brief nutshell about Life Hot Yoga, which is the yoga center you and your sister run. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about yourselves, a brief introduction. Two sisters running a yoga studio. How did you guys get started? Okay, so it's two sisters, Isabella and myself, mm -hmm. Stephanie. And uh, Isabella first, she is an uh, ex-banker in Hong Kong. Right. So after spending 13 years, more than 13 years in the mm -hmm. banking industry, she really wanted to just uh, relieve her dream to just backpack and travel around the world, do, do things that she loves to do. Mm -hmm. And her love for, for yoga and travel started her quest. And now she's returned back to Malaysia. Okay. And whereas for myself, uh, my background it is, is in medicinal chemistry and I furthered my studies in pharmaceutical science. Right. Uh, I have been in the pharmaceutical industry for six years in Singapore and now, too, I'm back in Malaysia. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So uh, how it all started is uh, my sister saw a hot yoga studio opening near to her workplace. So she tried out a class and was surprised at how much sweat she managed to collect in 90 minutes. Okay. So both of us, we don't sweat much even doing vigorous exercises. So she brought me along right. and the rest is history. Oh. So the to cut the story short, one thing led to the other and we are now back in Malaysia, KL and right. we have our own uh, hot yoga studio That's with right. a cafe and a ceramic studio running adjoining. Mm, interesting, yes. mm. very interesting. So now, um, what has it been like um, uh, and what is hot yoga itself? I'm sure some of our audience out there are quite familiar with what mm. is yoga. Mm. Yes, we understand it's you know a series of poses, but what is hot yoga and how does it differ? Tell us about that. So hot yoga is, mm -hmm. is, is a style of yoga that is done in a hot room, hot condition. Okay. So it is started by Bikram Chowdhury in the 70s. In the beginning, hot yoga classes is started with a 26 fixed sequence, 26 poses in 90 minutes. Right. And it focuses a lot on endurance. But over okay. the years, of course, uh, hot yoga has also evolved. And it has evolved into different styles of yoga, also practiced in a hot room. Uh, and it is across the country and all around the world. Mm, mm. Right, right. So um, why do we do hot yoga in a heated room per se? Are mm -hmm. there any uh, benefits associated to it? Of course, I assume that you sweat a lot. Yes. That's right. <laughs> so why are Yes. So those who are devoted to the practice says all kinds of benefits of hot yoga. One thing that is touted the most often is detoxification. Mm -hmm. So heavy sweating is believed right. to flush the toxins from your skin. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, when we are practicing in a heated room, uh, we, we know that we can approach a pose from a safe place because you know that your muscles are all warmed up and you, won't be, uh, you can go into the pose uh, safely. Right. And when you are 
uh, practicing in a heated room, your heart rate gets elevated and it really makes your body work harder. So right. it's really for people who are looking for a more intense workout, stretching and flexibility right. with, uh, along with a cardiovascular workout. And on top of that, working in a heated room, it helps you to breathe. And okay. it, this helps conditions like asthma okay. and uh, it focuses, focuses the mind and it's it will help to develop better mental concentration. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in so far, what's the reception been like from people who have joined your hot yoga classes? What mm -hmm. do they feel like? Do they like it in immediately or is it uh, easy to adjust to? Yeah, uh, they love it. Um, hot yoga is not really uh, so, uh, I would say, common yet. That's in right. Malaysia. It's still yes. coming up. So a lot of them are doing hot yoga for the first time. Ah. And they were too, you know, they, they experienced what they experienced. There's mm -hmm. a lot of sweat. And right. some of them, they don't sweat really a lot. So mm -hmm. they, f they found it very surprising that they can manage to sweat so much ah, in a right. 60 minutes class. Oh, yes. wow. Okay, yeah. there you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for like a really um, intense, but at the same time workout that's gentle on you, maybe hot yoga. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just curious. So um, hot yoga is performed, as you said, in a heated room. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about how this room is heated? Mm -hmm. Because um, I had been for hot yoga classes before and um, they actually use um, for example the sauna style hot mm -hmm. stones mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is what that's used at your center the same or different so we use far infrared heating system and right. we heat the room two hours prior to class whether or not anyone booked for the class because uh, we are prepared for walk-in customers as well I see, right. Yes, and we can control the temperature quite effectively at our studio because we are situated in a shopping mall. I and see, so the right, environment right. Uh, temperature doesn't really impact on the temperature of the studio. Mm. So even if there's a thunderstorm going on outside now, you will definitely still get your hot class. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So uh, we use far infrared heating system. Mm -hmm. Far infrared is a part of the sun's ray. Okay. And in fact, 80% of the sun's ray is far infrared. So without the harmful UV rays, we can Okay. practice safely in the room right. and um, we ourselves we emit far infrared so this far okay. infrared resonates with our own natural human frequency mm -hmm. to get our core temperature up mm -hmm. so instead uh, difference from the traditional heating where it is um, from the environment heat like air blowing uh, far infrared doesn't cause heat stress because it resonates with your own natural frequency right right so, so you don't feel yeah. exhausted like you might if you're walking outside yes so okay. when you experience heat stress especially for non-regulars and beginners when you experience heat stress uh, fight and flight hormones will be emitted like mm -hmm. adrenaline and cortisol right. and your muscles will tense up and these people may find difficulty in breathing ah, so far right. infrared won't have that problem Oh, okay, yeah. right. So it's quite an easy transition even mm -hmm. for first timers. Yes, and far infrared penetrates 4cm beneath our skin. Okay. So it really right. vibrates the water molecules that sit be uh, below beneath the epidermis layer. Mm -hmm. So when these water molecules they vibrate enough, they actually detaches themselves from the toxins. I yep. see. And these right. molecules they become smaller so mm -hmm. they can move in our circulation. So right. this improves the blood circulation. So instead of getting stagnated in the valves of our blood vessels, mm -hmm. they get it improves our blood circulation, right. detoxification, ah. and prevents heart diseases. I see. Mm. So um, when you sweat in a hot yoga mm -hmm. class, is the type of sweat different? from mm. how you would sweat, let's say if you were doing sports outdoors? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if, let's say if it's just from the heat, from the environment, right. the sweat that is coming out is from your epidermis layer. Okay. Whereas yes. we're using the far infrared, it's really from the uh, sweat that is coming mm. from deep be below your, your skin layer. So definitely the sweat will bring out toxins like heavy metals or uh, the, the water molecules can be t attached to dead skin scale cells, dead oh. cells. Yeah, all, all this right, yeah, it'll right. be circulated. Wow, yes. so that sounds like a host of health benefits really, yeah, really. coming out from yes. it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how does one prepare for mm -hmm. a hot yoga class? Mm -hmm. Is there anything um, special or different or is it just like, okay, go in and get started? What so, do you recommend? Yeah, so if it is your first hot yoga class, definitely there are some tips to bring home to make your first class an enjoyable and invigorating experience. Right. So there are six tips altogether. 
yeah. The yeah, first yeah. tip, <laughs> sure, sure. Yes, yeah, is it. to drink plenty of water. Drink a lot of water. Maybe five, one point five liters to two liters throughout the day, depending on your body size. Right. Up to your first yoga class. So, uh, a, a lot of people they come dehydrated. So when you're mm. dehydrated with the heat and the sweat, you really become very uncomfortable in a class. Right. And when you're hydrated, it helps to uh, dispel the heat more effectively, and you will feel more comfortable in a 40 degree Celsius room. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. So, but one thing to remember though is not to chuck water just an hour before class. Okay. Because, yeah, Why not? When you start the class, you won't you won't want to leave the room, right? Oh, and true. All, okay. Yes. You may need to use a wa washroom yeah. in the middle of it. And okay. a lot of postures are designed to compress on our internal organs so imagine right. yourself doing the posture and you have a full bladder it's really uncomfortable okay, okay. Yes, understood yes. Yeah. right so the second tip mm -hmm. is uh, no heavy meals two to three hours before class mm -hmm. there will be poses where your head is beneath your heart and right. there will be back bends so this will cause feelings of nausea mm-hmm yeah, and twisting poses, poses that we compress the front part of our body. If you have undigested food in your stomach, you may feel uncomfortable. And right. what happens when you're uncomfortable? You will mm. skip the poses. So, true. defeats the purpose because you won't gain the benefits from doing the poses. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, um, other than that, are there any other um, things which first-timers should keep? Yeah. So, uh, the third tip is to wear something comfortable, something you can sweat and stretch in, right. something uh, that is form-fitting and you will still feel comfortable when it is soaked in sweat. One thing to note though is at the end of the class, your clothes, your apparel will be soaked in sweat. So, right, okay. Yes, and the environment will be colder because uh, you have done a hot class. That's so to, right. You, you need to plan beforehand, plan accordingly, bring mm -hmm. a change of clothes or an extra layer after class right. that you can cover yourself up. Ah, I yeah, see, leading I see. to that, uh, the fourth tip is really to know your yoga etiquette. No okay. shoes, no cell phones allowed in the studio. Oh, no cell phones allowed. No. Okay. It, it, it's just like focusing the mind. Right. It's just an hour away from your cell phone. It's okay, you know, you okay. don't want to think about I anybody else. I like that else. because yeah. most fitness centers or even yoga centers mm -hmm. actually, they allow um, participants to bring in their mm -hmm. cell phones. It's very disruptive. Yes. So you guys yes, don't. It okay. is, it is right. disruptive to your own practice. It's distracting to other people as well. True even enough. if it's not on buzzer, the phone will... Will, will, will light up right. you will your mind will be shifted to your phone exactly yeah, and it's just an hour yeah just focus on yourself and right. uh, yeah and maybe don't wear perfume to, to the hot studio studio because okay. the heat actually intensifies the smell and not everyone has the same taste in perfume oh, okay yeah, yes, yes true enough yes. Right, right so uh, we are at uh, don't be late for class Right. So arrive early, uh, about 10 to 15 minutes before class, get yourself settled in, change your clothes and no late comers are allowed at live hot yoga because right. not only is it distracting to other people, we want to respect the people who are on time and mm -hmm. yes and um, yeah basically that <laughs> yeah so yes. just come along yeah. just be, all be really yes. really organized yeah. and also um, when you're late you may be missing the warming up sequence in the beginning right so if you can, if you just jump into the classroom during the sequence you may injure yourself right yeah. okay and so uh, yes bear all those tips in mind and yeah I think that's uh, really really good uh, in a nutshell given to us by Stephanie about mm -hmm. hot yoga mm -hmm. right so thank you for your time today <laughs> thank Stephanie you, thank we're going to go for the commercial break but once we're back we will be having in the studio with us Isabella telling us a little bit more about hot yoga stay with us welcome back to Banama today now I have with me Isabella he hi Isabella hi Tamina all nice right to be here absolutely <laughs> our pleasure so before we get started off with Isabella's interview let's check out another little video that we have to further demonstrate to you what hot yoga is really all about if you still can't picture it let's check it out
Right. So there you go. So that was a hot yoga class in action, right, Isabella? Yes, that's so, right. So <laughs> what can somebody out there who's never done hot yoga expect from their first hot yoga class? Okay. All right. Um, the first thing, or the amazing thing that um, the, for the first time uh, to come to a hot yoga class is that they will notice the room is hot, which is normal. It's a hot yoga class and mm -hmm. it's going to be sweaty. But afraid not, because we're using 5 Farad um, heating system, right. means that you won't get burned in the studio. Ah, so it's right. not like getting yeah. a suntan. No, no, no. Okay. It's just hot, it's going to be sweaty. And the key important thing when uh, for the first time uh, to uh, hot yoga class is to always remember to breathe. Sometimes okay. uh, for first time, first time uh, to yoga or hot yoga, they um, subconsciously hold the breath when trying to do pose. Okay. And so we always have to stay tuned to the breath. It's always the breath first, then the movement. Okay, right, so yes. breathe first, then you yeah, move. Yeah, always think about right. the breath. If you're not breathing, then don't do the pose. It's always checking whether you're breathing in the class. Right. Yeah, this, this key. Now, doing your first hot yoga class, or in any yoga class, it's really not about trying to uh, touch your toes or, or, or trying to go into a pretzel. Um, I would say that for first, for uh, if there's ever a challenge for the first hot yoga class, it's mm -hmm. really to stay inside the room. So you right. stay inside the room throughout the whole um, 60 minutes or 75 minutes, mm -hmm. so you can stay adjusted to the heat. Okay. And you definitely don't want to miss down, uh, miss miss up the cool down, cool down towards the end of class. And right. there's also a complete relaxation at the end of class. I see. So, okay, so, so all, all of that, yeah, all of that in one hour, in, in one or hour. More that's then. right. So you want to stay inside the room. So don't go running to the door as soon as things get hard. Uh -huh. If you need to rest, just sit down quietly and take a rest. It's oh, perfectly okay. fine to take rest in right. the hot yoga class. So there's all mm. levels inside one class. A exactly, and right. um, and again, don't push yourself um, too much. Like it's the first hot yoga class. Always listen to body. Always listen mm -hmm. to body. And it's always okay to take rest during yoga class. Um, the, the only challenge is really to stay inside the room, drink right. your water, sit quietly. And in fact, if, without doing anything in a yoga class, mm -hmm. maybe you are only just able to do a few poses and, right. and you're resting, mm -hmm. you still get the benefits of a fine infrared heating by mm. staying inside the room. Right, which right. is also yeah. true. Yes. So um, the other thing is that during your class, um, uh, avoid the urge to gather water. Okay. Because right. with water inside your stomach, is going to make you very uncomfortable in summer poses. Uh, so if you need to uh, drink water in the class, mm -hmm. just drink a sip of water in between poses to right. make yourself comfortable. Just to wet your mouth. Yes, yeah, something okay. like that. Now, last, lastly, I'll say that um, always focus on yourself. Don't worry, be, don't okay. worry about what people can do, cannot do, what right. they're wearing or not wearing. Busy looking around. Yes, it's just, it's, it's a hot yoga class, it's an open eyes meditation with movements. Mm, so open focus, eyes meditation. Yes, you I focus like on that. yourself in the mirror and focus on your breath in the hot room. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Nice. So, um, what one must do after a hot yoga class? Are there any um, basic, you know, do's, don'ts? Yep. I'll, I'll share two things that you can do uh, right after the yoga class, mm -hmm. and I'll also talk about um, uh, how one may feel, might feel after a yoga right. class. So the two things is the first first um, key thing that you need to do after the hot yoga class is to replenish yourself with water. Right. So drink plenty of water after the hot yoga class, at least one and a half liter of water, so to keep yourself right. hydrated. Wow. And coconut juice is always a good hydration option after hot yoga class. Okay, why? Why yeah. coconut juice? And because it is a natural electrolyte. It is ah, a, yeah, okay. unlike right. the spot string and everything, it doesn't have those sugar, mm. meat, uh, processed sugars. So it's, it's actually a good um, uh, hydrator, a natural hydrator to our body. Right. Then uh, the second thing is that we always encourage people to wipe off their sweat from the body. I see. And because we are using fine fiber heating system, the sweat that we just sweat is, is more than water. It contains okay. toxins, the matters, heavy matters. It's, it's good to just wipe them off your skin to clean up the pores. Ah, and, I yes. see, right. And Before. Allow, yes, exactly. So right after class, quickly uh, just clean up your, your, your sweat from body and allow yourself to cool down before you take shower. Mm -hmm. And if you're not taking shower, it's always a good idea to uh, change your dry clothes so you don't get cold um, after after hot yoga class because right. we are always in the air con room ah, beyond the, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the hot room, right? Yes, right. that's right. Now, talking about the feeling uh, one may get um, after a yoga class, mm -hmm. many people actually reported feeling calm, centered, and rejuvenated. Okay. Because you have just done something so good to yourself. Mm. We have stretched every part of the body, we have strengthened right. the body, and we actually create a tonic effect uh, during the session where we compress our organs to allow 
allow the fresh oxygenated blood to flush through those organs to heal the body. Okay, right. you will see sweat a lot, yes, which is detoxifying, mm -hmm. and um, and you will sleep like a baby at night. Oh really? Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's, so this are, that's, that's, those are the feedback that we we got. Mm. But at the same time, it may not be true for some people. So right. some beginners may feel themselves feeling dizzy, like heated, exhausted, uh, exhausted after the first class. Right. Uh, it really depends on how well prepared they are for the class. Ah, so right. your mental yes. condition One also condition counts. or whether they are hydrated or, or not before the class. Now, uh, this sensation is very normal. And uh, the key thing is that um, is with regular practice, the body right. will balance out and you get to know your body well. Mm. You know how to prepare yourself and uh, you will feel wonderful after regular practice. You know what it is. So always come back for a second class as soon as possible, I would That's say. That's right. Try, try not to rule out how it's not for you if you don't feel great after the first class. Mm. Yeah, let the body adjust. So just come and, in. Yes. Right. And, and just and for try. our audience out there, we're also running the lifehotyoga.com.my, which is the website address down below on the screen. So do have a look at it. Right. Now, um, can you tell us quite quickly what are some of the different yoga classes that one can take and at Life Hot Yoga. Okay. At our studio, we offer a variety of hot yoga classes. There's a fixed sequence class like Hot Train 6, which follows the original hot yoga sequence, which comprises of 26 postures and two breathing exercises. Right. There's also a faster pace class like Hot Vinyasa, where we move our body with our breath on a faster pace. And a slower pace class like Hot Yin, where we passively just um, hold a few poses over a longer period of time right. to care for our connective tissues like our joints, ligaments, tendons and our fascia. Now, um, the driver behind uh, the variety of hot yoga classes at our studio is to provide a balanced, sensible and sustainable practice. Right. Some days you want to uh, come for a harder class because yep, you, know, you want to uh, strengthen yourself but some days you just want to relax because you have a crazy week, you just want right. to calm down your mind. Do a passive and relaxing class to balance the energy. Mm. It's all about um, sustainability and, and balance. Right, no. so mm. there you go. So that is hot yoga in a nutshell from Stephanie as well as Isabella He. That's all we have time for today. So thank you so much for you know sharing with us about the benefits of hot yoga. Okay. And we really My hope pleasure. that our audience out there will check it out and see whether it suits them. Thanks for joining us. This has been Tamina Kaosji on Banama Today. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>